NHL players make tons of money, but the general trend is that they become poor after retiring and turn to regular jobs. Martin Yuk was fixing Coca-Cola machines, Brian Finley worked as a police officer, and Sean Avery worked in restaurants. Here are NHL players with different careers. Number 9. Gary Roberts While Gary Roberts enjoyed a successful NHL career, it is his remarkable transition to a career in fitness that has solidified his post-hockey legacy. Forced to retire in 1996 due to a severe neck injury, Roberts turned adversity into opportunity, establishing himself as a prominent figure in the fitness industry. His commitment to helping professional athletes achieve peak physical condition has earned him widespread recognition, with his training business garnering acclaim for its effectiveness. What sets Roberts apart is his inclusive approach, extending his expertise beyond elite athletes to cater to everyday individuals seeking fitness transformations. Embracing the digital age, Roberts offers his training programs online, emphasizing his dedication to giving back to the community that supported him throughout his career. In this 9 to 5 role, he continues to impact lives, emphasizing that his contributions extend beyond the rink inspiring both professionals and enthusiasts alike on their fitness journeys. Number 8. Ray Martinuk Ray Martinuk, once hailed as the can't-miss kid after being drafted fifth in the 1970 NHL draft, stands as one of the notable draft busts in history. Despite an impressive career in the Western Hockey League, WHL, where he clinched the Dell Wilson Trophy for being the league's top goaltender, Marty Nuke struggled to secure a spot in the NHL. Despite his promising start and considerable success in the WHL, Marty Nuke faced fierce competition among goalkeepers at the professional level. Unfortunately, he was never able to break through and play a single game in the NHL. His professional career spanned nine years, but he spent the entirety of it in lower leagues, unable to fulfill the high expectations set during his draft. After leaving the world of professional hockey, Martinuk transitioned to a different path. Before his passing in October 2013, he found employment in the corporate world, working a regular 9 to 5 job for Coca Cola. In this role, he focused on maintaining the company's vending machines. Martinuk's journey, marked by the contrast between his early potential in hockey and the reality of his professional career, serves as a poignant story in the world of sports. Number 7. Mike Vernon The financial misfortunes of Mike Vernon and Len Barry, both former NHL players, unfolded with the ill-fated venture of Bear Mountain Resort in Canada. Len Barry spearheaded the establishment of the resort and secured investments from 13 other retired hockey players. However, the ambitious project ended in failure, resulting in significant financial losses for Barry and the other investors. The collapse of Bear Mountain Resort not only cost Barry his home, but also led to millions in losses for those involved, including Mike Vernon. Mike Vernon, who earned approximately $24 million over his successful NHL career, found himself entangled in the financial downfall of Bear Mountain Resort. With $2 million of his own money and a substantial $7.6 million bank loan invested in the venture, Vernon faced considerable losses. The financial strain compelled him to sell his home to recoup some of the money tied up in the failed project. Number 6. Alexandra Daigle Despite the initial hype and high expectations surrounding Alexandra Daigle's entry into the NHL, his career ultimately fell short of the superstar status many had envisioned. While his on-ice statistics were not dismal, they didn't match the extraordinary predictions that accompanied his early career. Despite this, Daigle managed to sustain an 11-year tenure in the NHL, playing until 2006 and later extending his career by playing in Europe until 2010. Post-hockey, Daigle transitioned into the corporate world, notably working for a company called Mtail Grand. Currently residing in Montreal, he has taken on a 9-to-5 role running studios, showcasing his adaptability and resilience in finding new avenues beyond the hockey arena. Daigle's story serves as a reminder that despite the twists and turns in an athlete's journey, there are opportunities for reinvention and success beyond the rink, contributing to a narrative of post-NHL careers that extend beyond the boundaries of the sport. Before we get to the top five, leave a like and subscribe to get our latest content. Number five, Brian Finley. Brian Finley, 
currently residing in Toronto, Ontario, has transitioned from his NHL career to a meaningful role as a police officer, demonstrating a commitment to community safety. His present 9-to-5 job holds more significance than his relatively brief stint in the NHL, allowing him to contribute actively to the well-being of the community and make a positive impact on people's lives. Drafted sixth by the Nashville Predators in 1999, Finley entered the league as the first goaltender selected in his class, carrying high expectations due to his impressive junior performance. Despite making his NHL debut in the 2002-03 season, his career was hampered by injuries, limiting him to just one appearance. Ultimately, Finley concluded his NHL journey with only four total appearances. However, his successful transition to a fulfilling role as a police officer underscores his resilience and commitment to serving the community beyond the hockey rink. Number 4. Brett Lindros Despite being the younger brother of NHL Hall of Famer Eric Lindros, Brett Lindros did not follow in his siblings' footsteps to achieve similar hockey success. Drafted ninth overall by the New York Islanders in the 1994 draft, Brett entered the league with high expectations, reflecting the family's notable hockey pedigree. However, his career trajectory took an unfortunate turn, and the Lindros name did not translate into an extended and prosperous tenure in the NHL. Brett's junior-level experience included three seasons in the OHL, where he played 72 games but struggled to match the success associated with his family name. His NHL career spanned only two seasons, marked by disappointment as he made just 51 appearances and scored a modest seven points. Persistent concussions during this period cut short his time on the ice, leading to an early retirement. In his post-hockey life, Brett Lindros transitioned to a career in finance, currently working for HGC Investment Management, showcasing resilience in finding success outside the realm of professional hockey. Number 3. Brian Burrard At the tender age of 19, Brian Burrard experienced the fulfillment of a dream when he became the number one draft pick in the 1995 NHL draft. This milestone not only marked the beginning of his professional hockey career, but also presented a significant opportunity for the young player to secure his financial future. Unfortunately, what seemed like a promising start to a prosperous life took an unfortunate turn as Burrard placed his trust in someone who would ultimately betray it. Like many others, Burrard fell victim to a fraudulent investment scheme that resulted in substantial financial losses for those involved. The estimated total loss from this deception was approximately $50 million, with Burrard personally experiencing a staggering setback of around $6 million. This financial blow had a profound and lasting impact on his life, underscoring the challenges and vulnerabilities that professional athletes can face even after achieving significant success in their respective sports. Number 2. Louis LeBlanc Louis LeBlanc's hockey journey began with high expectations as he was chosen as the 18th overall pick in the 2009 NHL Entry Draft. His childhood dream came true when he joined the Montreal Canadiens, the team he had passionately cheered for during his youth. However, despite an initial display of promise, LeBlanc faced a sharp decline in his on-ice performance, struggling to make a lasting impact at the NHL level. Following a breakout year in the 2011-12 season, LeBlanc's momentum waned, leading to a mere eight games played over the subsequent two seasons. Eventually, he was traded to the Anaheim Ducks. After stints in the AHL and European leagues, LeBlanc made the significant decision to retire from professional hockey. Transitioning to a new chapter, he is now pursuing studies at Harvard University, seeking a different career path where he hopes to find greater success. Additionally, LeBlanc is actively involved in coaching their hockey team, channeling his experience and knowledge to contribute to the sport in a different capacity. Number 1. Sean Avery In the realm of post-NHL careers, Sean Avery stands out for the multitude of roles he's undertaken, showcasing a versatile yet tumultuous professional journey. Known for his fiery temper and distinct attitude, Avery has ventured into various fields, including the restaurant industry, collaborations with magazines, and even an internship at Vogue. However, his career trajectory has been marked by a series of transitions, 
with Avery seemingly struggling to establish a lasting foothold in any particular role. Despite his enthusiasm and diverse experiences, Avery has faced challenges in making a substantial impact in his post-hockey endeavors. The former NHL player's journey has taken unexpected turns, including a stint on Dancing with the Stars. Battling personal challenges since stepping away from professional hockey, Avery continues to seek stability in his post-NHL life, reflecting the ongoing quest for a 9-to-5 job that provides a sense of consistency akin to the structured environment of his hockey career. If you've enjoyed this video and want more, click the video on the screen, but subscribe, leave a like, and comment with what you think of Avery's transition before you go.